All right. Played some Blitz, got back over 2350. Now we're going to play some Bullet. Ooh, 2515. Low bullet rating. Hopefully we can improve that, though it might be hard while talking. Uh, my backup account's sitting on 2600, but shh, backup accounts are not the real deal. Apparently I'm 4 and 11 against this FM. It's a pretty bad record. Uh, Stonewall. Against the Stonewall, I like to try to trade off the light squared bishops with a quick bishop b5. I don't have them in the rush, but I should play quickly. Uh, I should now swap it because it's no longer pinned. Maybe play knight e4 at some point. I think I missed my opportunity. Let's just play g6. Try to control f5. Uh, I always just want to sack on d4. I don't know why I have that impulse. Uh, what am I doing? What am I doing? I'll try to trade queens. I am so far down on the clock. Queen d3 gives them knight g5. Terrible move. Uh, let's come back. Uh, let's question. They can play knight g5. This is hideous. Uh, they have 96 checkmate. Wow, what a disaster. Alright, 0 for 1. Bad start. And even worse than the chess playing was the clock management. I was switching from a blitz to bullet and trying to speak, because I was down like 52, 37 seconds after like 13 moves, which is... Completely unacceptable in bullet. Let's see if I can play a little faster this one. Start with an English. Let's play a botanic system if given the chance. Alright, let's just delay certain operations until they're committed. Can't castle yet, but I can play g4 now. Now I can castle. They have no sacks on g4. Are they going to go queenside? Um, I will play b4. And a3. Maybe bring my rook to the middle or c1 and play d4, d5. Uh, let's hit h4. I hung the knight on c3. Hopefully they miss it. Good. Uh, the important part is I'm only down 7 seconds on the clock. Only. I'm going to very slowly build for d4. Hung d4. <laughs> Just a disaster. Uh, ah, bullet's quick. Bullet is quick. Maybe go for d6 sometimes. They can take on e4. Ugh. What a horrendous position. Maybe they'll hang a knight f6 check. They were not so generous. Um, I don't think they should throw in the check there. Now h3 is defended. Uh, ah, but I'm too slow. I'm gonna try to get two pigs on the seventh. And they're going to try to go to squares I'd like to go to. And they're, I think, going to successfully clock me. Oops. Let's make a check. Too slow. Alright, 0 for 2. Slow start. Gotta go fast. All right. This transposes into an accelerated dragon. Uh, hopefully I can make moves quickly. I have this weird b6 setup I like in the Meroxy, uh, where my idea is to play this goofy queen b8, rook d8, avoiding bishop h6, rook d6, rook d7, queen f8 next. Okay, not next in this case. Queen f8 next, rook d8, try to play e6 and d5. Ooh, I had knight d5 there. Um, assumed they wouldn't put their queen on the square like that, and was pre-moving. Uh, can we play d5? Let's go for it. 
So if they play c5, I can play d4 and break up their bishop's connection to the pawn. Let's take maybe bishop c6 to stop the pawn's further advance. Hmm, it's a good move. That is a good move. All right, fair enough. So if my queen support everything. Uh, let's see where their queen goes. Then probably come back to c6. I'm ahead on the clock. That hasn't happened before today. Very encouraging. Uh, sort of hinted a6. Ooh. Uh, yeah, this is a serious problem. Yeah. Everything's pinned. And we're no longer ahead on the clock. We should probably play rook d8 check. They chose not to. This seems good too. Rook d8 check is even better now, because if I... T uh, yeah, you got it. Alright. Oh for 3. I think. Could be 0 for 4. But I think it's 0 for 3. All right, we went faster that one. So, one encouraging sign. Going to play another English because it's worth trying to play something you can do somewhat quick. Play the exchange with bishop f4 in the uh, Slav. e3. Uh, bishop g4 is a common move. We'll go queen b3, hit the b7 square. Uh, queen a4, check. Bishop b5, and then my queen comes back to c2 usually. If they play knight c6 or something soon. And then a6. Yeah. Now a6. I'll take the queen c2. Try to play knight e5. Try to give them the weak pawn on c6. And then maybe knight a4. Uh, I blundered queen b4. I'd have to play like king e2. Yeah. Try to play a3 and b4 to dislodge them. And to keep control of c5. Ooh, where does my king go? Let's go on a r run. See what happens. Uh, all right, let's give myself escape squares. Try to play b4. Keep them from uh, playing c5. Keep everything defended. Try to keep control of c5. Um, in a rush, maybe try to play f3. Get their knight out. It's a bit to the knight. And come into c5. Of course, I blundered pawn. Um, I also blundered my queen. Do knight e3. I uh, guess I take. Try to play a rook c8. Ah! Blundered mate. Alright, 0 for 4. Can we get the big 0 for 5? Let's see. I'd normally uh, feel worse about this, but it's been a long time since I've played Bullet and tried to commentate. Let's play e4. Oh no, an elephant. Ah, uh, don't know what I'm doing here. I'm just gonna get my knights chased forever. Uh, e4, I'll probably go knight g1, try to play d3. Undermine their center. They have bishop f2, I play king e2 and feel all embarrassed. Not good. Fair enough. Uh, let's go rook h4. Problem is knight f2 and knight g3 were both threatened. So this is very bad position, obviously. Okay. Gonna develop some pieces while I can. Bishop f4. Forks the knight in c7. Probably should have played that last turn. Taking c7 is actually pretty useful because it stops them castling queenside, which stops them activating their rook as quickly. Uh, let's go to e2, try to play rook e1, and return to f1. I don't think they can take on a2. I mean, the position's still bad, but it's no longer appalling. And some days, that's a win. Also up on the clock. 
Uh, let's see, king. Not blunder knight f2. Yeah, take that. Sure, let's go into opposite bishops. Right, threaten rook a1. Maybe they'll blunder f5. They did. They can now force rooks off. Bishop, mm, they won't be able to win if they do. Uh, so d4. Just a rude check, not actually trying to do anything. Maybe push the d-pawn. Now I can sometimes take on g7. Yeah, d6, d7, take on g7. Grab the rook. I just don't clock. All right, one for five, glorious victory. Uh, I'm gonna record another video because obviously that was a poor showing, but uh, the comeback. All right, let's get over 2,500 in the next one. Cheers.